Hello there, welcome to Watson's Daily TV. I'm Peter Watson and I'm here with my take on two major topics in today's business news distilled for you in three minutes. This is a cut down version of my weekday newsletter, Watson's Daily, in which I comment on a number of companies and themes. Can I beat this buzzer? Today I'm going to talk about gaming on Google and shopping on Instagram. So, Google announced yesterday at the Game Developers Conference in San Francisco uh, that it would be wading into the $140 billion gaming market via its cloud streaming initiative, Google Stadia. The company said that this will enable anyone, anywhere, to stream better than console quality games on any device without gamers having to download or buy physical products. Stadia will stream games on Chrome, Pixel devices and TVs with Google's Chromecast dongle. This sounds absolutely brilliant for gamers, but the success of this will depend very much on what the game lineup will be, as well as how it will cope with variable internet speeds. Although both Microsoft and Sony announced their next generation consoles, you would have thought that they could be the last consoles before everything goes online. Speaking of which, everyone, including the likes of Apple, Amazon and China's Tencent, is trying to build the capability to be the Netflix of gaming. Exciting times ahead, but I suspect that this stuff will take a while before it becomes mainstream. I'd also like to talk about a new feature on Instagram called Checkout on Instagram, which will enable users to buy goods they see on Instagram without leaving the app. Users can tap on a product that they like, which will take them to a sales page, all while staying within the app. So far, 23 fa uh, US fashion house uh, retailers even uh, have signed up and the list is set to grow. I think that this is a brilliant idea for another revenue stream for Instagram owner Facebook to supplement its ad revenues. I suspect that others will want to copy this and I would have thought that the likes of Snap and Pinterest will be very keen. Other than that, in today's edition of Watson's Daily, I talk about US-China trade talks, ASOS, Ocado, Superdry and the FDA's approval of another new antidepressant. Anyway, Watson's Daily is intended to give you the essence of the day's commercial news with opinion. You can read the whole thing in anything between one and seven minutes. So please go to watsonsdaily.com to find out more if you're interested. See you tomorrow and thanks for watching. Watson, out.